Hey everybody, David Henry here from Learn Stage Lighting and in this video I want to show you a simple setup that I have for my portable lighting console that I use on gigs now and again. So the, the goal of this video is to show you that you can stay simple, create a highly functional and portable lighting console out of a PC but not spend a ton of money because at the end of the day uh if you're like me you know you're trying to maybe have a lighting console that's your personal lighting console bit of kit as the people across the sea call it and i love that the europeans and so we're all trying to do this and, and as you're building you might be renting out your console to people using it for different events you want to save time you want it to be simple but you know, you got to get started on a budget. You can always upgrade later to a nicer setup. So I want to show you here a basic setup that I use that helps me get started with these things. And so what this started with was a Pelican style case that I had from the Spanish company, Mark, um, from Work Pro Lighting. And um, it's around the size of a Pelican 1600-ish, okay? And I knew that my 22-inch planar touchscreen fit inside this okay so i had that going and so the next thing i did was i cut a piece of wood this piece of wood actually and i went ahead cut it to the size of the uh, case and then i cut off the corners so that it would fit around the wheel wells at the bottom killer so after that all i did was take the different components of my rig and literally just lay them out on this board and velcro them down before i plugged everything in and, and then i plugged it all in so all in all this project um seeing as i had a case for it i mean you could use a plastic bin you could use a road case you have lying around um, you don't need to spend money on the case so i had the case the piece of wood i actually had around but it's you know it's literally a half inch piece of plywood i mean you know fifteen dollars for a full four by eight and this is a tiny segment so that was pretty inexpensive and then just some velcro so the total cost of this was just a few bucks and so you can see here it, it saves me a lot of time when i'm setting up for simple rigs which for me is going to be um maybe a midi controller m touch and m play and a, a laptop and a mini pc as a backup with my 22 inch touch monitor so previously what i would have to do is i would literally have to plug in everything on this board so if you see here everything going on here is um upside down obsidian logo is this mini pc my two port artnet node a chauvet dmx am power supply for the mini pc router hdmi switch so that i can uh, use one monitor but have primary and backup switch between them quickly and easily and then all my power cords so it, it's not the prettiest thing ever okay i get that but it's really functional the fact that i can literally roll into a gig unlid just open up the pelican have it either backstage or at front of house with me wherever i'm gonna be you know put it under the table um and then all i do is i simply throw in a power strip i didn't have room for that on this particular size board so i skipped it so toss in a power strip grab the power connectors all four of them are right here together do 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 plug them in then grab my uh, table whip of cables here my loom again just loom together you can use um electrical tape which gets gooey after a while it's better to use friction tape which um is popular with hockey players you can find it at the hardware store though or i just used velcro ties um you know velcro cable ties and then this guy just goes up to the table boom sits on top of the table then I can plug in my various USB devices, whether those be MIDI controllers, M-Touch, M-Play, and X-Touch, um, as it's going to be called in the future, power to my monitor, network to my computer, boom, and HDMI to my monitor and also to my laptop. And I'm ready to roll in about five minutes. So kind of the point here is that you don't have to go fancy to set up a portable lighting console rig whether it be an onyx rig or some other console I, I think you can often get caught up and i've gotten this way before thinking okay i have to put everything in a rack and have rack panels and have everything mounted real nice and the truth is 
if you're not doing like professional level gigs with lots of stage hands and stuff like that and you're setting up and tearing down the stuff yourself it's totally cool and totally acceptable to keep it simple you know do it cheap and get this thing out there you know on gigs making money for you you know using it places you volunteer whatever but the kind of the big point is I, I would always do something like this first just to prove the concept, save myself money, and, and get the thing going nice and easily. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, in the future, I'm going to be showing you some more builds. I've actually got a rack on the way that I just bought on eBay. I'm going to show you how to build something like this, but in a rack mount enclosure. Um, and it's going to be my personal rig that you know I'll be using for little gigs here and there. So I, I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, be sure to subscribe here on Learn Stage Lighting. Then I want to highlight a set of videos here on YouTube called Getting Started with Professional Lighting Consoles. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you around here soon. Thanks.